All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Charles. And uh, today we have some stuff from Tactical Taylor. It is made uh, locally close to where I live. I live just south of Seattle. And these things are made in Tacoma or Lakewood. And um, so they're made in the USA. Um, I've got two sources on the stuff that's here. Uh, four of those are from Tactical Tailor directly. They were on sale or, or clearance. And then the fifth one here I bought on eBay. So, um, and nobody knew what it was, but I figured it out. I'll tell you what everything is here. So, let's start with these. So this one is a sunglass holder but obviously you can see that you can put whatever's gonna fit inside of there although this is specifically made for sunglasses so it's just the right size you've got some velcro and the reason I bought this is it has a velcro on the back so I can slap this into my um, I've got a couple backpacks that have um, panels of Velcro so that's kind of nice uh, next one so this is just a business card holder this was on clearance as well it's a nice coyote they have different colors on some of these they'll let you know if you're looking at their website what they have in stock some of these things can be on back order for example, I bought a uh, something that supposedly was in stock and then ends up now it's on uh, back order, but it was a uh, RRPS medium size uh, pouch. But, um, you know, at my work, this will be useful because I can just put my business cards inside of there and I'll look tactical. But, um, all right, what else do we have? We have hard cases. So, um, these are two of the three sizes available. Now, they do not have any of the larger ones, which I was wishing they had the larger one. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, here is a small one. So, this is just like a nylon or polymer um, case got the malice straps in the back so you can obviously mount this onto any um, molly webbing and uh, I forget what the size on this but it I wasn't really sure I mean I looked at the dimensions but you really don't know what you can put in there I haven't figured out what I'm putting in this one that was this small Let's just take a look at the exterior dimensions. So we got five and a half inches tall by three inches wide by two inches um, thick. So obviously the interior dimensions will be slightly narrower. Now we have the medium size here. And we have, this is at six and three eighths tall, three and let's say three eighths wide by two and five eighths depth. Comes with the malice clips. All right, they have this nice uh, button, which this is brand new, so I like it because it, it'll Obviously it's secure, but it hasn't worn up enough to make it uh, easier to use. So why did I get this one? Well, I thought that my monocular could fit inside, which you can see my 70 year old, 71 year old monocular does fit inside. Now I was thinking I'm gonna put some type of foam padding um, and glue it on there or somehow secure it 
just to get a little bit more. Um, I like this option with a hard case better. I was putting it in the original case, which looks great, but doesn't attach to anything. I still have that, and then I was using this um, Molly um, pouch that is padded. And the padding actually helps it because this thing is 70 years old. I kind of wanted to have something a little bit more durable. So when I put this on my chest rig or on my um, pack that this thing is a little bit more uh, protected. Um, I don't really throw all my stuff around, but you know, every once in a while things drop or I might have to throw whatever this is attached to and thus I'm gonna ruin that. Um, they don't have any of the large ones. I do want the larger one because in theory, without having it here, it'll work with my 71-year-old um, binoculars. And uh, you can see why I would want to have a hard case. So I've been using, once again, a padded Molly pouch to put these in, which has protected it. But this stuff is old enough. And, the, and this thing had a couple chips, but in storage here... It has deteriorated more, but uh, I'll let you know if I get one of those. Uh, last thing that I got from eBay, and so they didn't really know what it was besides that it was a tactical tailor pouch and medium. Well, this is a tactical tailor medium gas mask um, pouch. So I guess they originally made a, a larger one. I don't think they still manufacture these. I haven't looked, but um, this is a medium one. So obviously it's meant to mount it this way and you have access to your um, gas mask or whatever you want to put in that is padded. Um, so when I first, bought this because it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was only like $16. Um, one thing with tactical, tactical tailors, all the stitching is like ridiculously uh, strong. Um, they have a lifetime warranty on their stuff. Um, and uh, I have not seen anything rip or um, fall apart, but if something like that happened, uh, they would take care of that. These things are high quality, but um, I just wanted to have an extra um, padded pouch just in case. Because sometimes when I go hunting or hiking, um, it's nice to have that extra padding on there. I still haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to put in this, but at that price, I thought it was a good uh, decision to... Um, Get it and then figure that out. You can see I put a little morale patch. I do live in uh, Seattle. But um, that's about all I have there. Uh, just take a look at uh, Tactical Tailor's uh, website because they have different sales or clearance time to time. And uh, their, their stuff is somewhat expensive, but there's a lot of labor and they're durable. Um, so I think it's, it's worth it, but, uh, if you want to save a little money, maybe just keep checking and see if there's stuff you can pick up. There's a couple things on there I didn't get, but in retrospect, I'm going to be looking and see if, uh, they have any more. Thanks a lot.